He is credited for steering the country's economy recovery. During the first three years of the third President Mwai Kibaki's administration, in which he served as the National Planning Minister after the formation of the Rainbow Coalition following the dramatic defeat of Kanu in the 2002 elections. Professor Anyang Nyongwa, political scientist, who served as the first senator of Kisumu County, retreated to his home to serve as the second governor of a county, a role he felt would give him an opportunity to implement devolution, which he had championed throughout his political life. My purpose really was to ensure that during my tenure, I establish or, or, or put in place or encourage what I call a functioning and a functional county, as well as a functioning and a functional city in Kisumu City. Having later served as a minister for medical services during Kibaki's Rainbow Coalition government, Nyongo believes proper planning and focus on health sector, as well as management of the urban population, would help transform lives and enable Kisumu residents benefits from the fruit of devolution. Said we want the community health workers because they do very important jobs and give them more money. The ECD teachers, the teachers who are develop our kids from very young age as a foundation for education and more than people their salaries because I believe that you must begin by supporting the people who are lowest in the rank so that they can pull up society. And finally, in terms of my 10-point program, I was very emphatic about food production, very emphatic about finishing some of the projects in the city of Kisumu, ensuring that there are access roads in the villages so that when somebody dies, you don't have to carry them in your head to take somebody's home. Environment, which is very important. There's no way you are going to come from Kisumu and ensure that the environment is, is healthy in a village in West Kano. Health, which is very important as I said, health is extremely important because community health workers are in the village. So we must give that as a function to the village councils. For a man who could be in a lecture hall teaching political science, the former University of Nairobi Dawn cuts the image of a lonely professor in a rural economy bearing the burden of high expectations, of a highly demanding population with high expectations. When we came in, we estimated that our funding was about 3.5 billion shillings. I set up a pending bills committee to verify it. They verified it, reduced it to 2.8. I wasn't satisfied. So I brought in the National Audit Office and Treasury to come in and, and audit our pending bills. When they audited them, they came to about 1.8 billion shillings we had to pay. We are still paying those pending bills up to now, and they are a huge, huge burden. The challenge really is how to get more time to do what we need to do. Yeah. That is why we have a motto in this county called Teach Tire. Work is going on. Being among the leading champions of devolution, the former chair of the powerful Senate's Committee on County Public Accounts, an investment that oversight counties, the governor's task for him could be not have come from a better time. He is currently preparing the Lakeside Town to host this year's Afri City Conference. Which means more visitors will come, and the more the visitors come, stimulate tourism, and we will sell them things, they live in our hotels, and will create more wealth to us. The cancer survivor recounted his delicate balance between health and his demanding jobs. He went public about his disease to send a message of hope to cancer patients. Was well, that cancer is not a death sentence. Cancer can be treated and is treatable once discovered early. Even now, there's scientific evidence that even if it is late, it can still be treated. I know friends who, who have been treated. Uh, the only thing you have to do is have access to the, the ki right kind of doctors and treatment. And that's why I strongly believe in universal health care, because this is one of the ways by which you can build the, the wealth. The one-time ODM Secretary General is remembered for having also been nominated to Parliament by the then Social Democratic Party leader after losing his parliamentary seat in 1997.
faulted Justice World on Coril's orders that governors with presidential ambitions should resign six months to the general election, and that of Justice Mumbingogi, of barring governors charged with graft from accessing the offices. I think natural justice says that you are innocent and proven guilty. If you are innocent, then why are you being barred from running the office? I mean, what you do is run the office, yes, but please answer to the law. But telling you that because there is this uh, charge in a court of law, just a mere charge you step aside, I really think that taking the idea of justice rather too far. I think Korea must have some grudge against some governors or something like that. I don't understand how he made that ruling, quite honestly. Uh, but maybe, uh, you know, that such decisions <laughs> remind me of what we, we used, to, <laughs> used to be told in church, that the peace of God passeth all understanding. I mean, <laughs> I think Governor Korea's, uh, no, I mean, <laughs> Justice Korea's ruling is like the peace of God, it passeth all understanding. The son of a canon and the father of the Oscar Awards winner, actress Lupita Nyong'o, says after all is said and done, his faith rests in God and family. And despite his demanding task, he still remains academically engaged and gives regular public lectures across the globe. My mother always believed that so long as you are doing work that helps other people, keep on doing it. My father also believed the same. That's why he took up the challenge of being a pastor, really. But even then, Nyong'o still exudes confidence that Kisumu people will give him her second chance, having been endorsed by his party leader, Draila Odinga. The Prime Minister came here in this office. In fact, we were sitting actually here. So he came and uh, we were going down and all of a sudden we found these young people who were saying, Tano Tena, Tano Tena, and they said, is it Tano Tena, Tano Tena, and of course he went, I mean, really. What would he have done in those circumstances, I mean, really. For Governor's Scorecard, I am Angela Cheror.